Hey you guys, it's hey, Addy. Welcome back to our channel. Is it just me or does it feel like it's been a while since we said that? I think it's been a while Has since it? we said that. I feel like we don't always traditionally start our vlogs like we used to. We obviously used to start every video with Hey It's Addy, but I feel like we've been so just overwhelmed with our lives right now. Um, with the baby on the way, with our son almost here. Speak of our baby, y'all, he's getting so big. We're starting up a vlog today because we're about to leave the house because langy has got a doctor's appointment. I got a doctor's appointment today. It's just um, an ultrasound just to see how he's doing. But it's one of those ultrasounds where they don't really tell me what's going on. It's one of those like very detailed ones where they see everything, if he's growing okay, whatever. And I'm it, not really allowed to go yeah. in. And if I am, I usually have to wait like an hour in the yeah. waiting room for some reason. So. Most likely just gonna drop her off. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those where I can't record it either. They're like no cell phones or anything. So I literally just have to lay there while they do, the, do their thing and I don't get any details until after my appointment. So it's, tem it's tempting to do another uh, ultrasound together, like the 5D ones, you guys, because we love doing those. But our son's gonna be here in like a month anyway. So I feel like, you know, we did say the last time we did one of those, it was gonna be our last one. Yeah. Let's try to hold off and, and have more of a uh, more of a surprise, I guess, mm -hmm. when he finally arrives. We say like we still have a month, but literally he could come. Oh, he could, y'all. He could come any day. Any like, time. Any, any any day. And that's why I have to go to this appointment. I I have like an appointment weekly now. I think once you hit like 30 weeks or 35 weeks, something in between, then they give you an appointment weekly just to check on you, just to see how things are going because you're getting closer to your due date. We literally went there like a couple days ago. Yeah, literally so it's almost days It's ago. almost not even weekly. It's <laughs> like every couple days she's going in now. And this one, I just told you guys what this one is. And my next one, which is in a week, is the one that I feel like a lot of women talk about that they dread. It's where they swab my back door. Yeah, TMI. TMI, but that's I'm what good they do. that. Ain't no one swallowing my back door, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but my appointment is in like 15 minutes, and so we should probably get going. Should probably get going. Before we get going, though, we got something um, that makes this all a little bit more surreal. Mm -hmm. I know I keep saying surreal this, surreal that, because it's getting real close. But this... Just hold on y'all, hold on. Y'all probably already know what I'm about to show y'all because I'm filming and I'm about to open the car door, but I'm telling y'all, this makes everything a little bit more surreal. Oh my God, it's really happening. Y'all, we finally got the car seat. We also got our stroller back in the back of the, oh my God, and we got the mirror. I forgot we even <laughs> put that up so we could see our son or so I could see our son through my mirror into this mirror in the car seat. Baby gonna be back here next yeah. to him. Probably first couple months, at least, or at least first couple months, we'll see. It's just so surreal to see because looking how tiny this is, I just picturing a tiny little baby. Well, whenever I put stuff back here now, like when we go to the store and stuff, I can't fit everything in the back. Well, yeah. first, cause we have the stroller back there now, mm -hmm. but I open this door and I see it here and I'm like, holy shit, man. Like this is really happening. This is really happening. We just had our baby shower. And so we got this as a gift. Well, it's a two in one. It comes with the stroller. Um, we'll show you guys that later. But um, a baby shower was, I don't know if we talked, did we talk about that in our last vlog at all? Or our last video? So our baby shower just happened, you guys. And uh, we'll show you a bunch of stuff we got from the baby shower later on after doctor's appointment. But the baby shower was definitely a very emotional time. And um, just seeing all the gifts and all the baby stuff. And especially this, like when I installed this in the car, it's nice and snug. We got it in here nice and snug. Um, when I installed it, I was like, oh my God, like, wow. This is, <laughs> I'm really about to be a dad, bro. <laughs> It really does suck how I can't go to someone for appointments. I mean, this one, technically, I guess I could have went to, but I would just have to wait in the waiting room for pretty much the whole appointment. So it's like waiting room or my car, waiting room or my car, or technically back home because we're not that far from the hospital and I could probably make it back home for, I don't know, 30 minutes and come back. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. For now, I'm gonna talk to y'all for a minute. Like I mentioned, car seat in the back, we just had our baby shower this past weekend and uh, we did not film it. I know you guys may have been expecting a baby shower vlog or a baby shower video. I know a lot of people do those on YouTube. Um, we are obviously a little different than some YouTubers. Personally, 
I like to keep certain parts of my life um, intimate and off the internet, you could say. I've been doing social media a long time and maybe that's why I like to keep certain things off of the internet. Um, but me and Lingy both agreed that we wanted our baby shower to be very um, intimate and, and just family, friends, not a lot of filming, not a lot. Of, I mean, obviously my family took videos and stuff and they sent it to me, but personally, I was so overwhelmed because we had the baby shower at our house and our house really isn't that big. And so I was so overwhelmed that I didn't even really have time to film anything or take any pictures. So the only videos and pictures I have from our baby shower are ones that like my mom sent me or, or my friend sent me or whatever. So yeah, yeah, we didn't obviously, you know, uh, make a big deal out of it. Well, we did just you guys didn't see it. It was a crazy hectic week last week. We had our baby shower on Saturday. Me and Lainey went all out as far as decorating and stuff goes. We got a ton of amazing gifts for our son, which we'll show you when we get back to our house. We pretty much have everything we need leading up to the birth of our son. Today, I believe there's like, I think one more big gift that we need to get. And I think we're going to buy it today. It's a bedside bassinet for in our room because when we first give birth, we don't want to put him in the crib right away. We want to kind of sleep with him, you know, so we're gonna pick up a baby bassinet today. And yeah, when we get back home, when Lee's done uh, at the doctor's, we'll show you everything else. But uh, yeah, man, this is getting, this is getting crazy. If you've been watching me a long time, most of y'all probably know that I, I have been doing YouTube uh, for years. And, and some of you guys have probably been watching me the whole time that I've been doing YouTube. Some of you guys, as in a very small percentage, I'd be surprised if there's people watching our Addy vlogs that have been watching me on the internet since 2016. But if there is, by all means, you a motherfucking real one. But with that said, it's probably crazy watching me grow into the the, the person I am today as far as uh, I'm about to be a fucking dad, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's amazing. It's such a good feeling. And, and as the days get closer, well, really, like we mentioned earlier, it could happen any day. And I'm like super nervous. Like a good nervous, though. Not like a bad nervous. Like, ah, it's more like a... It's more like a, I can't even explain the feeling, bro. I, I guess if you're a parent watching this, maybe you can relate to what I'm feeling. But uh, yeah, it could happen any day now. Um, anyways, man, it's getting hot. I'm a, I could talk to you guys for hours, but I'm gonna turn the camera off. I think I'm probably gonna run home for a bit, um, or maybe I'll run a couple errands and then then I'll pick Lingy back up and we'll uh, continue this vlog. So, oh my God, you looking like a dilf out here, babe. Oh, really? Yeah, look at you. Look at you all matching and everything too. Look at it. Oh, this is so cute. I never thought. Okay, babe. Okay, no, sorry. we're not. That's that's what we're not gonna do. <laughs> I had to bring the stroller inside, you guys, because we're about to go pick up that bassinet, and I need to make room in the car. Oh my God! Wait a minute, though. Talk about a milf, baby. I'm oh, I'm telling you, this a whole look right here. Nah, this a whole. Y'all, this a whole look right here. You actually look like a baby. I'm telling you right now, like you, y'all, you can't tell me. You cannot tell me that she don't look like a straight mom right now. And when I say mom, I mean mom I like to f Anyways, you guys, I just got back from my doctor's appointment. It did not take as long as I thought it was going to, but like I said, it's one of those appointments where she can't really tell me every detail, like what she saw. Like literally, I was not even able to see the screen, okay? It was dark in the room. She's the only one who can see the screen, but like at the end of it, then she'll be like, oh, okay, here's a little sneak peek of what's in there right now. She only told me a little bit of detail. She's just saying that he's measuring on track. I'm 35 weeks today, exactly, she said. He's on track and he weighs about four to five and a half pounds right now, which I don't know if it's that accurate, yet because you know it's from my belly and they can't really weigh him like that and she checked my cervix through the ultrasound okay whenever they say i need to check your cervix i think they're, they're gonna make me take my pants off but no thankfully no other than that oh she did take a picture she took uh like two little pictures so let me show you guys it's so cute now that i'm getting much further in my pregnancy i feel like they don't give you as much ultrasound pics anymore but she took two of these and hold on, let me just flip so y'all can see. Can you guys see that? Y'all know what you guys are looking at? This is his nose right here. He literally has no space in there anymore. His face is all squished in there. So this is literally his head, his tiny eyes, and his nose. This is literally just a small sneak peek of his face. It is so cute. 
Oh my god, look at this. Y'all see the vibes, man. Y'all see the vibes. I just finished putting it together. It feels like it's a little wobbly, but I think that's normal. So Especially if you kind of want to like I lock them a little bit. I don't know. I think I built it right. It's got a little slow thing too, and I think it Ooh. moves. Well, I mean, there's power, there's a place to put a battery, there's even a speaker. And then it unzips right here, you guys, to kind of give Lenny or mm -hmm. me if we switch sides of the bed. You know, usually she's on this side, yeah. I'm on that side, but we'll figure out who's going to be sleeping where. Um, and yeah, I think it just unzips, yeah, unzips right there and both sides, so it's like super it's easy. Oh, we can also lower it more if we want. What do you think, higher or lower? I think definitely like bed level though, like so, I can, level? Yeah, okay. so I can see, yeah, so I can see him. Oh, this is so cute, so y'all. right there is the perfect. Yeah, yeah it looks even, that. yeah. Damn, baby. Kimby already wants to go in it. We literally rearranged our whole room so the dogs or the cat won't be in here because mm -hmm. the dogs playpen used to be here. They used to sleep right here. But considering our son's going to be sleeping with us the first couple months, we don't want the dogs to like bark and wake him up, etc. As well as we don't want Kimba, who knows what, maybe jumping in there, etc, etc. So our pets are no longer allowed in our room for now. We've been trying to train him slowly to get used to being outside in the living room, you know. It's a little hard for me because he's like the baby right now. So when he starts meowing, I feel bad. Right, no, yeah. The past couple of days, we've closed our door so he can't yeah. sleep with us. And he just scratches on the door pretty much all night so he can't sleep. But in a way, that's kind of getting us used to not really having a good night's sleep, I guess you could say. <laughs> Plus... Now that we just moved the dog stuff out there, I feel like it's going to be easier for him because he felt left out, but now he's going to be sleeping out there with the dogs, and uh, I think it's all going to work out. Like I said, baby, everything's getting more surreal. I know. You want to show him some of the stuff we got from the, uh, from the baby shower? Sure, let's go. Okay, I am in our baby's room now. It still looks a little bit like a mess, but that's because our baby shower just ended, and we just started washing everything in this room. I just finished washing all the receiving blankets, all his clothes and everything so i'm still like kind of organizing where everything is going to go but here's this little sneak peek of everything that we got and everything that will be in this room so for our baby shower we got a ton of receiving blankets and on this shelf it's just a bunch of receiving blankets and bath towels and washcloth um don't mind this this is for the, his changing pad which is not here yet but and look at this oh my god i love this so much this is like bluetooth enabled too so i can like listen to music while he's laying here and just looking at that is so crazy to me because like i said there's gonna be a tiny baby there this is where we're gonna be changing his diaper and everything but i don't have the changing pad yet so it's kind of like all of this is not gonna go here okay but this is wipe warmer these are the little babushkas. This one's for Adam. This one's mine. But I also got a super cool one that I've been waiting for forever that my mom got me. And I really want to show you guys. It's kind of like a tradition where anyone who gets pregnant in our family, they get one. But um, I think my older sister got one. Now that I'm pregnant, I'm going to have a baby too. My mommy made it for me. And I love it so much. I know my mom used to carry us in this too, but she made this one for me. Like literally made it. And Wait, you want that yeah. One? yeah, well, I can't use it for newborns yet. They have to be like sturdy enough in the neck, and then I can use it. But y'all hear that? Oh, oh my god, look at this little mom culture. Yeah, this is a little culture thing my mom made for me. Look at this, it's got money on it, it's got coins. I also really like it because you know, it's very it's like a distraction for kids. They start crying, you just gotta go like this they stop but i really love this i don't know how to use it yet but <laughs> when you my mom learn. comes back she's gonna teach me how to use it again <laughs> yeah man it is getting uh it's getting real it's getting real real I it's getting know. real surreal you did <laughs> she also got me this like traditional thingy we wear it for our mom clothes but my mom was like you know what you need one of these right after you give birth you have to wrap this around your stomach and you know wait let's throw a picture on screen right now of what laney looks like wearing traditional mom clothes so they kind of like get a idea of what that actually looks like and what it actually is because I feel like the average viewer watching has no idea yeah. what that is and yeah. they're probably thinking you're gonna put the baby in that what? <laughs> so that's what it looks like and that's what my mom made me so it's you know it's part of my culture y'all for all we know and for all y'all know the next video we upload on this channel could deadass be 
Blangy's Water Broke or um, Our Labor and Delivery <laughs> or maybe you won't see us for like a week because yeah, you know, we'll we'll be dealing with all of that. Um, it dead ass could be any day now, and um, yeah, if you don't see us upload for a week, then you probably know what happened. We really about to be parents, but I know. we really about to be parents, y'all. We really about to be parents. <laughs>